let's disassemble this adapter. This one doesn't have screws to hold the housing. Uh, in this case, as you can see, we have the, this. Uh, this is the locking mechanism. Uh, you can press it like that easily. It comes off. Alright, this is the coil. I'm going to remove it. Okay. This is the iron core. The fixed iron core. Alright, this is the top housing. As you can see, the back spring, then the uh, moving uh, iron core. I'm going to remove it. That's it. All right. Okay. Uh, to remove the top half, looking like that. I can remove the top half. All right. That's how to disassemble this relay contactor. This one is the fixed iron core, as you can see, which is mounted on two rubber pads. This one is the moving iron core. As you can see, there is rust on the face of these iron cores. You need to clean them. Uh, let's start cleaning them with sandpaper. Rip of the sandpaper depends on the amount of rust on the face. Uh, in this case, we don't have much uh, rust. I'm going to go with uh, extra fine sandpaper. Lay the sandpaper against a flat surface and take the iron core and face it against the sandpaper and then sand it. As you can see, uh, there's no rust in the surface. Let's move to the next. All right, as you can see, now it's clean. If you want more smooth surface, uh, you can use a fine, uh, or you can use a super fine grid sandpaper. In this case, six hundred. I'm going to do the same to the other iron core as well. Okay, that's it. Clean the surface with the cloth and you're good to go. Now the iron cores are clean. Uh, let's move to the contact points. To clean the main contact points, uh, you have to first remove them. All right, these are the fixed contacts, main fixed contacts of the relay contactor. Once the screws are removed, pull the contact points, 
like this. So the sandpaper uh, you use to clean these contacts or the contact points uh, depends on the amount of damage on the contact point or the depth of the grooves uh, in the contact points. If you have uh, large grooves or the damage is severe, you have to use a coarse grit sandpaper uh, or medium grit sandpaper first, uh, then move to the next sandpaper. Alright, I'm going to start with uh, 400. In this case, I don't have uh, much damage to the contact point. Uh, Alright, this is 400. Lay the sandpaper against a flat surface, then hold the contact point against the sandpaper. Make sure to hold it in the right angle. Alright, move up and down like that. Alright, the surface of the contact point should be flat right, as you can see. Now check the contact point surface as you do the sanding. As you do, check the surface to make sure you are not sanding too much. Sand uh, just enough to clean the grooves. And as you can see, it's pretty much clear. There's no grooves. Uh, I'm going to the next paper. Let's add it using the 600 grit sandpaper. The surface should be flat, not curved. Right, I'm going to move to the next, the ultra fine sandpaper, thousand, grid size thousand. All right. Clean it with a cloth. Finally, as you can see, there is no grooves or damage in this contact point. All right. Okay, I'm going to do it to the uh, other contact points as well. Remember the sequence, you start with the lower grid sandpaper uh, and then move on to the fine grid sandpaper until you reach the outer fine because we need a smooth surface on the contact point. Do it to the other contact points, not to all the contact points, uh, only to the damaged I'm going to remove the, the screws holding these contact points first. All right. As you can see, we have rust on the terminal surface, a white terminal surface of the contact point as well. Uh, we have to clean them. Uh, we have to remove the rust on this uh, terminal surface. I'm going to clean them 600 because we don't have much 
rust in them. Make sure not to, if your contacts are good, make sure not to sand them while you sand in the terminals. I check the call uh, terminals as well. If there is rust, uh, you need to clean them. Make sure not to break the call itself. Uh, be careful. Uh, if you have rust in the call terminals, you can clean them. To reach uh, moving contacts, moving main contacts, uh, you have to disassemble this plastic housing. These are the moving contacts. To remove them, you have to remove the springs that hold in them. Right, as you can see, in this case, the contact points are pretty good. I'm not going to uh, use sandpaper on these contact points. Also, the contact points, uh, the auxiliary contact points are also good. So I'm not going to use sandpaper on them. Alright, so let's insert the main contact points to the housing. Next, I'm going to insert the, this is the fixed anchor. Alright, uh, and then the next thing is the coil.
right uh, next the moving anchor then the spring Okay, the last thing is the top housing. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. I'm Sena for learnitstepbystep.com